is Sonia here in Montreal. There is a protest today. It's the World Freedom Rally. Um, it's very, very, very cold. And I just got here up at uh, the park on Mount Royal. And um, I just talked to somebody who will tell you a little bit about it. Alors, salut! <rire> on fait la manif aujourd'hui. Oui. Et c'est quoi la manif? Donc, la manif aujourd'hui, c'est la sixième manif internationale pour la liberté. Mm -hmm. Donc, il euh, y en a une à Montréal, mais il y en a comme je ne sais pas combien de pays. Là. Il y en avait des centaines de pays qui faisaient ça. Et donc, c'est la sixième euh, internationale pour la liberté, vu euh, tous le, les, les problèmes qu'on voit en ce moment à travers le monde, les gouvernements. Qui, euh, qui ont des droits au peuple et tout, donc c'est pour euh, juste manifester pour retrouver les libertés. C'est pour les libertés, c'est pour euh, que les peuples recouvrent leur liberté. Donc, euh, le passeport c'est obligatoire. Oui, oui. <rire> Montre-moi ta preuve de picot. Euh... C'est mieux pour protéger pour vous, madame. Oui, il faut le passe pour marcher dans, pour sortir de la maison. Bon, en tout cas, moi, euh, moi, je pense que l'immunité naturelle et l'immunité naturelle est, est supérieure là, euh, à l'immunité vaccinale. Et c'est pour ça que je m'anime. Wow, it is so cold, my fingers are literally freezing off. So I'm sorry guys, I got here late, but I just want to show you that Montreal is still having demonstrations. People are still not okay with this. I happen to know that people who come to these protests are not only unvaccinated people, because several of my vaccinated friends, they're also at the point where they're, um, they're protesting too. We'll just do a little tour. Oh my God, you guys, my fingers are seriously gonna fall off. This is crazy. So it's not a super, super big crowd today, but like I said, I got here late. Salut, salut. Oh, ouch. Oh, my fingers, oh. What do the protests do? I mean, clearly our government does not care if we walk around in the freezing cold. But you know what it does accomplish for sure is for people to see that they're not alone. It gives people more of a feeling of um, solidarity. I think it gives people more of a feeling of hope. That's what I realized about uh, the protest. I don't think it's by walking in the street that anything is going to change because all the media does is says, oh, a bunch of complotistes marching around today on the plateau. But it's good for the people who are here to be together with each other. It's, uh, it's very good for the morale. Over here, like people know that there's people who are not on board. There's almost 600,000 people that are not even vaccinated. And there's a lot of other people who are, but are against some of the measures. So people know this, but they just, they're just being told that it's a bunch of crazy people. It's a safe to stop. And this morning I left Psalm 91 with my wife. Because only God is going to bring us with our action, with our prayer. We're not going to stop protesting, but we are going to trust God to get us out of this pandemic. And I'm going to read this this part of the Bible. It says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will, will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and the deadly pestilence, which is disease. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings He will find refuge and his faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies in the day, nor the disease and pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make 
the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me. I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Come to my mom's house for pizza. Okay, that was cool. I uh, just met some Christians. And um, yeah, it's nice to meet other people. It's always nice to meet other Christians too. I, I think I'm going to head out. I'm freezing. I didn't find any of my friends. And I think a lot of people I know were here. I got here so late. And I'm freezing. So I'm going to leave pretty quickly. Hey, you guys. I'm in the mall of La Cité. I just want to show you what this looks like. This is locked down. Everything's closed. into this. As you see here, the food court seats, everything's closed. I mean, this is, this is not doable. Businesses can't just close up like that on and off for two years. And here's a movie theater, Cinema du Parc. Look at that. It's like a ghost town. If they keep it up, this, all the stuff is going to close permanently and it will be a ghost town. Let's see what else down here. This is a Saturday. Normally this would be pretty full of people. Oh look, you got all the people lining up to get their booze there. You need a vaccine passport now to go in. Now they say it's your private medical information, but it's like obviously if you're standing in that line, every single person knows that you're vaccinated. So it's not private anymore. The grocery store is still up and running. You don't need a pass to go in there yet. You know, it looks pretty stocked. I know you guys heard about food shortages, but I'm not going to go in. But look, I'll just show you. I'll just show you. I have heard of some places being out of certain things, but look at it. The Metro's a really big chain. You can see their fruit and vegetable section. It's still stocked. No shortage here. <laughs> More ghost town over here. Dumplings for takeout only. Like all these restaurants. Yeah, it's just takeout. But you know, like when they go, when they're only open for takeout, a lot of people don't get takeout because they want to sit in the restaurant. Is there alcohol? Oh my God! Look, they're scanning people right there at the entrance. That's so crazy. Apparently, there's all these like SAQ like affiliated stores outside of Montreal, though where you can get the same booze that's in there, but without going into the SAQ, and you don't need a pass um, to get in there. And there's this whole long list. I forget what they call it. You know, it's a point de vente or whatever. So it's, it's not impossible to get booze without the pass, at least not outside of Montreal. It's, like, it's open, but like, there's no one here. There's almost no one in this mall because it's depressing, you know? People want to go out, they want to go sit and have their food, talk to their friends. You know, just grab takeout. This one didn't even bother to open. Like some of these are closed. Lebanese Place, Cafe Express. 
Yeah, it's not normal at all. Look at this. Look at this ghost town. This is Quebec, two years in. 90% vaccinated. We still got a ghost town happening. It's a bad vibe, man. Really bad vibe. I'll show you the top floor, too. This is like a natural... This is like a natural food store here, as you see, it is still fully stocked. Still plenty of food here. I promise I will check back in with you. Like in a week, let you know how it's turning out. But for now, yeah. I came in here to warm up because I made the mistake of deciding to walk rather than wait for the bus. And the bus came like five minutes after I left. Big mistake. I thought I was gonna die in a snowbank. So I can come in here and warm up, but like you can't get anything to eat. You can't eat in the mall, you can't drink your coffee, you can't do anything. Even if you're vaccinated, you can't you can't sit down and have a coffee. It's crazy. Look at this, I just want to show you even outside the mall, like out on the street, look at this cafe bistro here. See that it's, it's closed. That cafe bistro. Closed. So a lot of places like they don't even they don't even stay open. Oh no, it is open. No, it's not open. See, it's locked. Like they don't even bother to open. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. You know, coming along with me to see what's going on here in Montreal. And uh, we're all hoping that uh, sanity is restored soon. To Canada and to Quebec, um, you know, like they did in the UK and Ireland. That would be great. So that's it, you guys. Thanks a lot for uh, joining me, and I'll see you next time.